Sir Isaac Newton wrote, truth is ever to be found in simplicity. Well, if Sir Isaac were around today and tried to use a laptop or drive a car or even turn on the stove, let's just say simple, they are not. David Pogue searches for simplicity in a complicated world. Everywhere you look, things are getting more complicated. Our phones have over a thousand settings. Shower heads come with apps. Cars have touch screens. Ovens have touch screens. There's no doubt that featureitis is real. And again, most of these things are too complicated. Design consultant Jacob Nielsen says that part of the problem is bad design. Simplicity is actually difficult to achieve. It takes a good amount of time and, and, and talent, I should say, as well. And part of the problem is us. As consumers, we tend to buy the gizmos with the most features. If I give you the choice between this toothbrush can do two things and this one can do five things, you may think the five feature toothbrush is a better toothbrush. I think we've identified the nub of the entire problem because manufacturers know that we will always pick the one with more features. So that's their incentive to keep piling them on. Yeah, they have the incentive to do more of that. But if you think today's products are hard to learn, try designing them. Do you happen to know in total how many commands there are in Microsoft Word? I can tell you, having redesigned all of the icons for all of commanding in all of Office, that the collection of all of Office is thousands and thousands, tens of thousands. It's really? Yeah. Oh, man. John Friedman is Microsoft's chief of design. And yet, what would happen if you, in a new version, were attempt to take away something that didn't get much use? Some set of people would feel like we removed something very important for them. This is the conundrum we have to deal with. How do we take the power of what can be added to products as technology gets better and make it really simple for people? Over the years, Microsoft has tried many times to strike that balance. When people complained that Microsoft Word was too complex, Microsoft offered a simpler, streamlined word processor called Write. It bombed. It was one size fits all, and that's really hard. Simplicity can only come when it's truly adapted to each individual's definition of what is simple for them. Then there was Clippy the cartoon paperclip. Clippy would proactively come forward in something like Word and say it looks like you're trying to write a resume and help you with the tools that you would need to do something like write a resume. Clippy flopped too. I think it was before its time. Achieving simplicity is even harder when you're designing cars because your customers are supposed to keep their eyes on the road. Everything is getting more complex, and now you can imagine what it means in a vehicle environment where you have to drive. In addition, you get all kinds of information. Frank Weber is the head of vehicle development for BMW in Munich, another company that has experimented with designs for simplicity. The BMW iDrive system. In the early 2000s, it introduced a turning, tilting, clicking knob for navigating menus called iDrive. It was not a hit. Perhaps you own a BMW, and it's making you feel a bit like... <laughs> and we were heavily criticized. Heavily criticized, though it was not that everybody loved it from the beginning, because their experience was different than they had with the, uh, the other vehicles. You have to be very careful not to overwhelm people when you go from one generation to another generation. But now, are you ready for some good news? These companies say that thanks to new breakthrough technologies, they're on the verge of curing featureitis once and for all. Drive me to Berlin. In BMW's 2025 cars, it will be voice control. What are some of the things that you will be able to do by voice that used to require going through menus? Many, many of the things, uh, whether you ask for service, uh, whether you want to change the interior color uh, of your vehicle. I think if you want to go to a sport mode, uh, typical things where you have to go deep into your menu structure, people will never do this again. The new cars can also show key information beneath the entire windshield, so you don't have to look down. And unlike some car companies, 
BMW promises not to eliminate physical knobs for radio and climate. So it sounds like you're saying the answer is not voice. The answer is not touchscreens. The answer is not physical buttons. It sounds like your approach is to divide up the driving tasks to each control that's best suited to it. Yeah, optimizing that setup is, I think, the art of controlling a vehicle. So basically Meanwhile, Microsoft says that it too is about to crack the complexity conundrum. We're at the dawn of the next wave of computing, probably the most impactful thing you and I'll ever get to see in our lifetimes. According to Chief Marketing Officer Yusuf Mehdi, the solution is artificial intelligence. A lot of that complexity of files and menus and buttons, all that's going to go away because AI is going to enable us to just ask for what we want. This feature, called Copilot, is a new app for smartphones and computers. So for example, I can say, hey, turn my PC to dark mode. This is just like that, I'm in dark mode. So I could put this into focus mode, do not disturb, without knowing where it is in the settings. 100%, just plain English. Could I say, um, uh, pull up that email to my mom? Yes, you can absolutely do that. You'll be able to say, show me all the emails from my mom last week. Mm -hmm. Of course, not everyone will be happy. And people don't like change, do they? <laughs> no, people do not like change. That's for sure. So will voice control and AI help with the complexity problem? We'll soon find out. In the meantime, if you feel intimidated by complexity, design consultant Jacob Nielsen has two pieces of parting advice. First, no need to feel like a techno loser. It's not your fault. It's the designer's fault for making it complicated. Because it doesn't have to be complicated. And second, don't be seduced by this promise of a toothbrush that can do 20 things when you only need it to do one thing. Go for simplicity, buy simplicity, and then your life will be happy. <laughs>